All right, on day two here, what we're going to do is, uh, where we did our tackling circuit yesterday, what we're going to do is our ball disruption circuit here. We're really, you know, focused on trying to strip the ball, you know, trying to get the ball back for, for our offense in good position. We're trying to take the ball away. One of our goals, we talk about stopping the run, um, eliminating big plays, and taking the ball away. The first circuit that you're going to look at here is what we call an arm over. All right, we circle, we, we secure the tackle with a left arm, all right, and it's generally done with the ball in the near arm of the ball carrier right there. So if the ball's in the near arm to where we're pursuing from, we want to use what we call a hammer and rake. And we want to be more violent than what you're seeing here. Secure the tackle with the left arm, come over the top and be violent with the right arm, hammer the ball and rake out, rotating your hips, trying to be violent and bringing the, uh, pulling the ball out, separating the ball from the body, and causing a fumble. The person behind these guys in the drill is ultimately going to then become the scoop and score player, bending their knees, looking the ball into the tuck. Those players need to be more violent there. Then we need to have the ball in the near arm. That's a good job by 20, 29 there. Be violent, hammer, and rake the ball out. Again, I'd prefer the ball be in the near arm when we utilize this technique. Look the ball into the tuck, tuck the ball away high and tight, secure the football, and bring it back. That's a little bit better. Bend the knees, be athletic. Once we're done with this, we go on to a uh, ball in the forearm drill. We call this rip and punch. The first thing that we want to have happen is we want to secure the tackle. You see 45 secure the tackle, in this case with his right arm. And what I want him to do with that left arm then is uh, go hug the hip of the ball carrier and punch up with a violent uppercut. Punch it at the point of the football right there. At times for the guys doing it lefty, it can be a little bit awkward, but we want to punch up at the ball right there. Punch it at the point of the ball, separating the ball from the body, finishing the drill with a good scoop and score. Good secure the tackle, punch the ball out, bend your knees, scoop and score. Got to do a better job securing the tackle on that one. Secure the tackle, punch it out. And even if you only separate the ball from the body, as the case here, maybe someone else coming in can end up stripping the ball. So you've got to be, you got to be opportunistic. We've got to take the ball away. 35, secure the tackle. There you go. Come with a violent uppercut right there. Bend your knees, look the ball into the tuck, put it away and score. Put it away and score. Go from defense to offense in a hurry. It's a little bit better. Find the ball, look it into the tuck. Go score. Okay, now the ball's in the right arm. He'll secure the tackle with the left arm. I like the effort there, the execution, the technique isn't very solid. Secure the tackle with the left arm, arm over, arm around, and you want to go hip to hip. You got to go hip to hip with them. And you want to punch up. The second one's good, the first one not so good. Violent uppercut, separating the ball from the body. There you go. Much better with the right arm than the left arm. Bend your knees, look it into the tuck, bring it back. There you go. Be violent, look it into the tuck. Secure the tackle. Be more violent. Throw right up. You want to bite your bicep on this drill, is what I tell them. Bite their bicep. All right, the next phase of the drill is what we call pin and pry. It's when you're doing a, executing a two on one tackle. The ball carriers have the ball in their right arm in this drill. So for the drill's sake, the individual on the right is securing the tackle here. The individual on the ball carrier's left, on the uh, on the ball carrier's left on the defense's right is securing the tackle. It's a two-on-one tackle, like we did in the tackling circuit, where they're tackling halves of the ball carrier. The individual on the right of the defensive players is securing the tackle. The individual on the left then secures the tackle, tackles that half of the ball carrier, that breastplate of the ball carrier, and as he goes to do that, he pins with his outside arm the elbow of the ball carrier, and he pries the ball loose. The only thing I'd like to see these guys do a little bit better is rotate their hips and twist the ball out. A ball carrier will not allow the ball to be taken away that easily. We want to pry the football out. Dig your butt in there, get the ball out, and rotate your hips and scoop and score. Not a very good job there. Not a very good job there either. Good job by 29 there, that's better. Bend your knees, look it all the way into the tuck. Now the ball's in the other arm. All right, and the final piece of our ball disruption circuit is uh, scoop and score. You know, so we've worked on stripping it, now we're working on scoop and scoring. There's two ways to that we coach scoop and scoring. One is when the ball's rolling end over end, and we call that hedge your bets. 
Play the odds that the ball is going to give you the big hop, like that. Look the ball into the tuck, put the ball in the outside arm, high and tight, high and tight, high and tight. Run through it. Keep running through it. It will eventually give you the big hop. That's the odd shape of the football. It will give you the big hop. There you go. Scoop it up, bring it back, score a touchdown. Put the ball in the outside arm, high and tight. Protection, ball security, ball security. Look it into the tuck. Good job there. Good job there. Look it into the tuck. The second portion of the drill then is when the ball's rolling uh, on its bladder. So you can see the ball roll here now, flat on its bladder. Now like an infielder in baseball, it's your responsibility to kind of gear down, palms to the sky, not like that, get your hands out in front of you, get your hands out in front of you with your palms to the sky and your fingertips right there, look the ball into the tuck, neither of those guys were very good, one fell down, one kicked it. Knees bent, there you go, look it into the tuck, look it all the way into the tuck like a wide receiver would, look it all the way into the tuck, put the ball in the far out, in the outside arm, and then uh, hold, protect the ball high and tight, good ball security.